Hi friends, Benita with Knitting in the Mitten. And um, I have been wanting to make crepes for a long, long time. I don't think I've ever made crepes. Um, I don't know why I had the idea. But um, a while back, we went to the Foodway Symposium in Kalamazoo and um, they were making crepes. So that really wanted me to make crepe, made me want to make crepes. So um, I'm using a recipe from Two Peas and Their Pod because um, it was a recipe that sounded like something I could do and I really love the recipes. So um, first off, I have melted three tablespoons of unsalted butter and um, cracked two eggs and poured half a cup of water into one measuring container and three quarters cup of whole milk into another container and they are supposed to be at room temperature so I'm going to let them sit here for a little while until I think they are there. So the recipe I am using calls for one cup all-purpose flour but um, I think at the Foodways Symposium they used cake flour so um, I googled it and um, it looks like the ratio, if I use cake flour, will be one cup plus two tablespoons of cake flour. So that's what I'm going to use. All right, so the recipe I'm using says to combine the room temperature melted butter, the flour, two teaspoons of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, the room temperature whole milk, the room temperature water, the room temperature eggs in a blender. Um, if you want to make sweet um, crepes, um, you can add one teaspoon of, of vanilla extract. I want to make maybe some savory and some sweet. So I think when I'm, once I've blended it, I'm going to divide it into two and put half a teaspoon of vanilla in one of them so that I can make some crepes with strawberries and yogurt since I have fresh strawberries. We need to blend it for 20 seconds or until well combined and smooth. And the consistency should be similar to heavy cream. Okay, maybe this is why I don't make fancy things like crepes because it seems like you have to be very exact about things like that. Um, and of course, when I put everything in the blender, it started leaking out because I guess the base wasn't on securely, which I worried about when I put it together this morning, but I thought I got it right. Clearly I didn't. So um, I had about one and a half tablespoons of liquid on the counter. And if my nieces were here, they would say, oh, aunt, but they would expect nothing less. So um, anyway, I added a little more milk, which was not room temperature, <laughs> um, but we're just gonna hope for the best. Um, so now I'm going to pour this in two different containers and I'm going to add a little vanilla to one and then I'm going to put them in the fridge tightly covered until tonight when I make the crepes. All right, I'm a little nervous about this, um, but here we go. So I have a 10 inch nonstick pan. I'm going to brush the pan with some butter. And then I'm going to pour a quarter cup of crepe batter in here. Um, sorry, I can't really show you. Well, maybe you can see what's happening. It definitely looks like it could be done. In our class, she flipped it. 
<laughs> I can't do that. All right. Ah. Yeah, this is a disaster. That's all right. It's still going to taste good. I figured this would happen, and she kind of said that's going to happen your first time. And uh, so, yeah. I'm going to experiment here. So, um, yeah. Let's see if we can do better the next time. Tilt and turn. Cook for about a minute. All right. Think we can flip it? <laughs> yeah, no, we can't. All right. Um, all right. A little better than last time. Not perfect. That's okay. This one got flipped much better than all the others. Um, and that's the last sweet one. So I'm going to eat one with homemade plain yogurt and fresh strawberries that I picked the other day. I have one with um, ham and mushrooms and Gouda cheese inside. So I cannot wait to try these. All right, let's try the savory one. Pretty decadent. I don't know how often I'll make crepes, but it was fun and delicious. I sandwiched them between wax paper and folded them in half and put them in a Ziploc and put them in the freezer. If you make crepes and you're good at it and you have pointers for me, please let me know. Or if you have a favorite way to eat crepes, I'd love to know that as well. I think that actually the mushroom, ham and mushroom and cheese one was my favorite.